Okay, this is the third type of factory. It's called a simple trinomial. And the reason we call it a simple trinomial is if you look up this column, there are no numbers. Okay? Absolutely no numbers in front of the squared term on any one of these guys. Or you can think of the number in front there as being 1. To solve a simple trinomial, uh, it's quite um, an easy proposition. Um, what I like to do is draw a little arrow like this on each one. And this little arrow that I'm, I'm drawing here uh, virtually gives me the answer to how to factor it. When we're factoring it, we're trying to break it up into two things that multiply to make it. In this case, two brackets. Here's what the arrow tells you. You are looking for things that multiply to make the last term, multiply to make 12, and the arrow points to a plus sign, so they have to add up to 7. Okay? So, you may want to go over here and just write out what multiplies to make 12. And I like to have a pattern, so 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. And you can see that these two numbers actually add up to 7. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I put down uh, the two numbers that I find there. I'll put down plus 3 and plus 4 because they add up to plus 7. Okay, and then I really, I check to make sure that that happens. And if it does, then I can fill in the term in front of each bracket, which will be a P. And there I have factored it fully. Now, this plus sign tells me two things. It tells me to add 3 and 4 to make 7. It also says that if that's a plus sign, both signs in the brackets are going to be the same as this sign here. So that's why I knew it was plus 3 and plus 4. Let's look at the next one. What multiplies to make 16 and adds up to 10? Okay, well, 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. They are the numbers that add up to 10. So I'll put down 2 and 8 this time because they add up to 10. Now, this says both signs in the brackets are going to be the same, and they're going to be the same as that sign. So in this case, to get, to get minus 10, I must make sure these are both negative. And sure enough, negative 2 subtract 8 is equal to negative 10, or minus 10. So I always check that first of all, and then if it's, it's true, I can put in the R in front of each bracket. And there I have factored it perfectly. Now, here I'm multiplying to make 48, but do you see a subtract sign there? Or a minus sign? It says what multiplies to make 48 and subtracts to make 2. So there's quite a lot of numbers that multiply to make 48. I'm going to start by ma making a pattern. Start at 1, go to 2, go to 3, go to 4. Okay. 5 doesn't work, 6 goes into 48 8 times, and you can see that 6 times 8 actually does multiply to make uh, 48, and the two of them subtract to make 2. So I've got my answer, it's 6 and 8. Now when that's a negative sign, these guys are going to be opposite. One will be positive and one will be negative. And here's how you can find out which is which. Think of this little sign as a prize. And that sign, the plus sign in this case, is the prize that goes to the biggest number. So 8 is bigger than 6, so he gets a prize. That means 6 must get the negative sign. And now check. Negative 6 plus 8 does give me plus 2. So I know I have my answer. I can fill in the rest of the brackets with W and W. And there is my final solution. This one. What multiplies to make 18 and subtracts to make 3? Okay. 1 times 18 doesn't subtract. 
2 times 9 doesn't subtract. 3 times 6. Hey, they subtract to make 3. So I know 3 and 6 are going to be my answers. The minus sign is surprise this time. Okay, because that's negative, I know I'm going to have opposite signs. The prize of a minus sign goes to the biggest number. The biggest number is 6. Okay, plus 3 minus 6 gives me negative 3. So therefore, I have my solution. That's plus 3, that's minus 6. And now the last one. What multiplies to make 32 and adds up to 4? Well, 1 times 32, 2 times 16, 3 doesn't go into 32, 4 goes into there, 8, 5 doesn't go in, 6 times doesn't go in. Now 4 and 8 subtract to make 4, but they don't add to make 4. None of these guys add to make 4. So therefore you can say cannot be factored. So if the combinations do not do that to make that, you write out cannot be factored. And that's how you factor a simple trinomial.